Around the world, the iconic tower that holds the bell that we know of as Big Ben is fairly well known. The accuracy and reliability of the great clock has made it a famous London landmark. But the Elizabeth Tower that's been standing for over 150 years has some amazing technology to stay. So how does a 150 year old clock manage to keep time reliably to within two seconds at all times? Well, it's all down to the idea of a pendulum. And a pendulum works a bit like this. If you have a piece of string or a rope with a known length and it takes one second, for example, to move from this side to this side, it's always gonna sweep out that one second. And if you can build a mechanical system around this to add up all those seconds, to be minutes and hours, you've got to make it into a great clock. Interestingly, they already use pennies to help Big Ben chime. They add pennies to the system or take them off to help change the speed of the pendulum. And that's not the only thing. Here's my top five facts about Big Ben and the clock tower. The bell inside the clock tower is called Big Ben and is over 150 years old. It was cast on April 10th, 1858 and took over two weeks to cool down from molten metal into a ringing bell. The minute hand on the clock face is over 12 feet long. That's like me stood on my own head. And in one year, it travels over 118 miles as it spins round and round. There's still a crack in the bell that happened in 1859, but at the time, it was considered way too much trouble to remove and fix it. The great clock is cleaned around every five years. A team abseils in from above and cleans the entire thing with just soap and water, being careful not to put their hands or their feet to the panes of glass behind the clock itself. The great clock lost four and a half minutes back in 1949 because a group of starlings perched on the minute hand and slowed it down. So that's it. The great clock that lies within Elizabeth Tower and rings the bell that we call Big Ben all still runs on a pendulum system with cogs and gears. So if you like our video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel at Lonely Planet Kids. Come say hi on Facebook and Twitter. And if there's any cities you want to know more about, let us know in the comments below.